This has been out a few years now, and I really think that of all the knives I've designed, this is the one which is close to the ideal camp knife, outdoorsy knife. It has a, a handle which is extremely comfortable, fits the hand nicely, fits my hand nicely at any rate. I hope it fits yours. So it's uh, the bushcrafty people and everybody in, uh, think that a, about the ideal knife is about uh, of just about a palm, your palm width uh, long. And I found that to be a very rational um, uh, length. If you go an inch longer or an inch shorter, it's all right, because uh, it's still very utilitarian. This is about as long as you can get and still get a really good skinning motion, where this finger controls the tip completely. Because this is the most accurate thing you own is your, is your forefinger. If you, if you could get bullets that come out of your forefinger, you'd never miss. So in this case, what we have is a, it's, 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 if you, you know where that finger is, and all of a sudden that finger has become sharp. So you can, you can, you can use, just have tremendous control. Uh, the tip, it can be used to drill with. It's not the world's best driller, but it's nice and it, but it's a very strong supported point. <coughs> and it has enough um, slice, um, because it has a relatively thin profile, um, light profile, that it actually is a pretty good slicer. It's not much of a, a chopper, but you can, uh, but that's for a different tool. So one of the things I wanna do is, uh, I'm gonna use the nine because I'm feeling lazy today. Oh hell, we'll just use the, use the baton. So you need a smaller piece. You'll notice that I angled that. Angling, um, if you cut straight across, it's a little more, bit more difficult to um, deal with. It's a little less efficient. I left these guys on here because one of the tricks, little tricks is is if you have a tree close to your fire, you can leave a bunch of these limbs on a small piece and lash it to the tree and you've got a place to hang pots and pans and stuff. But the great beauty of this guy is because of its sliciness, is it's a great carver. By the way, if you have to make a square cut, you'll notice that I'm straddling the tree and the reason for that is very simple. As I have a really solid workbench. So you need to make a square Do an X cut. And the guts come out in a hurry. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. And in all that you do, we want to help you beat yesterday.